Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Slightly nervous to start this vlog. I'm supposed to be going to London on Sunday and I thought I would do like a prep and pack with me vlog and then my London vlogs. But today we have cancelled another whole round of short haul flights. So at the moment, still going. Our holiday hasn't yet been cancelled but feeling a little bit nervous. I feel like maybe starting this vlog is kind of tempting fate. I've actually, I've got a like big holiday. I'm going to New York, hopefully, in December, which I've, I've, we booked just last week actually. But kind of doing that thing where I'm, I was already sort of telling myself like, remember what happened with Dublin last year and how quickly like, so we booked, we booked all our holidays with BA since Covid have kicked off because they've had the thing where you can pay um, just the, the deposit and then if you want to cancel up to three weeks ahead up till kind of recently I think now it's changed a little bit but you could basically you could cancel it and you'd get a voucher for the deposit back and we had literally just paid our Dublin balance so it was just over the three weeks to go mark and then the new variant kicked off so like Dublin turned into like such a stress and then we had to get PCR test it was kind of one of those ones if it kicked off a bit earlier we would have probably just taken the voucher but at that point because you could technically still go you just needed the PCR test and um, you know we wouldn't have been eligible for any kind of refund or anything so we went but it was it was quite stressful so I'm already telling myself that for New York like you know just don't get too attached because this thing looks like it might just kick off every winter again like you don't know what's going to happen but I wasn't really that worried about going away this week but yeah it's Tuesday and we're supposed to go on Sunday morning and I'm at this point a bit like oh this could be in jeopardy so slightly nervous is uh, is the intro to this vlog but basically I'm getting my nails done tomorrow so I want to kind of finalise my outfits before I pick my nail design so even if it is tempting fate I'm going to start that process and I'm going to film it with you guys so let's get into it <laughs> So I'm only away for four days. I'm away Sunday to Wednesday. First of all, I'm going to check the weather forecast. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% accurate, but I think it gives us an idea of what we could be looking at. At the moment, Sunday through to Wednesday, no rain any day, which is very exciting because I am planning to wear my espadrilles and fairly warm. So I got this dress. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me trying it on. It's from this brand, Alamace. I'm maybe not pronouncing that correctly. I saw this on the end of a reel in Harvey Nichols getting off the escalator and I saw it from like across the shop floor and just like made a beeline to it. I definitely want to take that. Other thing that I definitely want to take is this dress, which is also new. Bit of a story with this one. So as you can see, it's from Netta Porter. But I actually, I tried this on in Dublin. I tried it on in Brown Thomas, but I wanted a different size, which they didn't have. So I ordered it online whilst I was in Dublin so I didn't break my no buy, I still bought it on holiday and this is the dress. So this is my first ever Zimmerman dress. I know there's a lot of influencers who obviously wear a lot of Zimmerman and practically buy a new Zimmerman dress every other week but that is not me. This was quite a lot of money to spend on a dress but my thought process with both of these dresses was that they're both Although they are lovely dresses, they can both be made really quite casual, so I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of them. But the only thing that I'm going to say about this one, so I have really admired a lot of the Zimmerman dresses over the past few years. I think they're super, super pretty. Quite often I felt like this, the colours have been either super summery so that it would feel ridiculous to wear it in other seasons, whereas I feel like because this is a sort of almost olive sort of colour, I think matches actually have called this brown. I would say it's more green than brown, but it's definitely sort of olive khaki green. I feel like it makes it just, you could kind of take it into other seasons depending on how you wear it. So I do think I'll get a lot of wear out of it, but it was £650, which to me is, is a lot of money to spend on a dress and it's see-through and I really feel there should be some kind of a slip with it. I will insert the footage of me trying it on in Dublin. I had on um, like black cycle shorts under my skirt. You could see them. The other thing about it is it's like on a flat chested person. The v-neck is fine but on me it's not fine. It's a bit pornographic. So 
this is not the dream but I just kind of had to make do had to take what I could get so that I could wear the dress I wanted a slip to go under it well I didn't want a slip to go under it I needed something that would be like a bit modesty at the top with the v-neck and because it's see-through I thought well I can just get a slip rather than a top I got this from m &S. it's not the dream I feel like it would look really lovely with a sort of silkier satin slip dress underneath it but I wanted something so that I could wear it in this holiday so I got that in m and to go with it. Those are basically my two new dresses but I don't quite know what bags and things I want to wear with them so I'm going to try them on and style them up and see how I want to wear them on holiday. This is the Zimmerman dress on um, so I'll come a little bit closer you can see what I mean in terms of the, the V it's just a little touch low but yeah I don't this isn't the nicest slip to go underneath it. Um, I mean it will do for all you really see of it and as I say it's partly that the thing is so see-through that it gives me that it gives me a bit of coverage on the bottom half as well but yeah I feel like if I could get something that's like one of the colours that's in the birds in like a satin or something I think that would be nicer but you see what I mean about it? I think this colour could take you into sort of into autumn as well so I feel like it was a bit of a more sensible purchase than some of the super super summery ones that they've had. The other thing that I liked about this dress is that it is just a wrap dress because I feel like a lot of the Zimmerman dresses have like cutouts or whatever which just not here for that or they're super high necked which because I've got quite a big chest I feel like anything that's that high necked you know it can kind of just look like a big sort of square and it's not the most flattering. But yeah so this is the dress. I do think it's really really lovely but I don't have a clue what handbag I'm going to use with it. I got these shoes in New Look which I think I'm going to wear with it. I'll pop them on and show you. Okay so both these pairs of shoes are from New Look and these brown ones are wide fitting if anyone's got wide feet. So I got them and I think they would look really nice with it if I took a brown leather bag. This is my Bayswater. I got it when I was 18. It is in need of like a really good kind of spa session but I mean it's still fine. And it, it looks alright but I feel like it's quite a kind of businessy bag. Like I, I don't really feel like it's the bag I want to take but I feel like if I had another bag this kind of colour that would make the dress quite summery with the brown sandals. Or these are the espadrilles, which I think is probably what I'm going to actually take um, with me to wear with this dress. But I need a sort of nude bag with them. So I've just brought out my Seton. I think this colour was officially called Rust. I always call it gingerbread. That's not the bag for the summer, but I feel like you can see what I mean about the autumnal sort of vibes of, of this dress when you see it with the gingerbread bag. Like, I think it will really will take through. But that aside, so in terms of summer vibes, which is what we're going for, I'm much more into like autumn winter dressing than I am summer dressing. So I've got my Kate Spade wickers. So I've got my frog I got last year, cutest thing ever. And then I've got my elephant. And I always kind of say with the wickers, like because they're novelty bags, they don't really need to match as such. But I think the white might just be... Well, I don't know actually. Could I get away with that, do you think? I think it's like a little too harsh because I specifically said when I was looking for a top under this I didn't want a white top. Um, but I feel like maybe I could get away with. So those shoes and the, the elephant bag. What do we think? Actually, that could be cute. I thought that was going to be too stark, but I think that could be the winner. Let's see the frog, but I feel like... The elephant's better than the frog on this dress. Although I am obviously packing for a holiday, so I don't want to be packing loads of handbags. <laughs> Although it's only four days and we do have checked luggage, so to be fair, I could I could get excessive, but I have to carry my suitcase from Heathrow to the hotel, so probably don't want to be taking too many handbags, but yeah, let's look at the frog. I do love her so much. I think she's the cutest thing, but I don't know that she's... um. I don't think she's quite right with this outfit. Like I feel like because maybe the elephant's got more wicker and although the ears are white it's just maybe not as much colour whereas I feel like this looks really bright and kind of, because I feel like, do you know what, I basically feel like a sort of wicker bag would have actually been like the same way that I think like if I'd had a sort of more summery sort of brown leather bag to match these shoes that would have been the right vibe, like a sort of neutral either brown leather or 
sort of full-on wicker bag but I feel like this is maybe not quite the right vibe. The last option I've got, so when I was in London at Christmas time last year, or between Christmas and New Year for Lauren and I's Twixmas trip that we do, I bought this bag which I have obviously never yet used but it's like a string bag um, which I unpack it. Maybe that's the right bag. Obviously it's empty, it looks a bit odd. So how they had this in the shop was they had like put some stuffing into a scarf and then they had put the scarf within the wicker bag, eh, within the wicker bag, within the string bag. So it is, it's like a long shot obviously, eh, as you can see at the top, but it's it's a collaboration with, with this brand um, who do just make string bags and all they've really done is they've put the long shawm, um you know, leather handles and whatever on it. But actually, I think I think that could be the the right vibe. What do we think? Elephant versus string. I'm I'm leaning to string actually, but I don't know what scarf I would put in it to line it. And it would just like your stuff is just in it if it's not in a scarf. Let me get the scarfs out. It's an undertaking packing for your holidays. So this scarf I'm thinking, if I wore this bag with this dress as well, this one would be the best for it. So it's sort of mainly sort of orangey shades. Then the other ones, I bought three. I got very into this wicker, eh, I don't know why I keep calling it wicker, string bag thing. One of them's like, well, I don't know, I suppose there's golds in that, but it's, it's mainly a sort of bluey colour. Then this one's kind of like bright fun colours. I think it would need to be this one, right? Wait and I'll make the bag up with this in it and we'll see. And then what they had done was they kind of left the, the edges like falling out of the bag like that. I thought it was super cute. I know it's going to be an acquired taste, not for everybody, but I thought it was very sweet. So that was how they had kind of done the bag. So let's look at that. Move the, the door in so we can see in the mirror. See, does that look too messy now? I suppose the thing is, if I wanted it out with the other bag, I could wear could wear the scarf out and then I could I could tuck it in. But that I just left it out because that was how they did it in the shop and I really liked it. That kind of neatens it a little bit. But then I feel like it just then kind of looks a bit more like a string bag rather than being like, no, no, this is a, you know, a statement I'm got my scarf in it and it's, you know, we're being bohemian. There's very little bohemian about my personality, but I do enjoy a bohemian aesthetic, which I do think this little bag fits pretty perfectly. I'm, I'm leaning on the string bag. Yeah, I, I think with the espadrilles that that's maybe the right choice. And then I think this would go with the patchwork dress as well. As I say, I know this is not going to be to everyone's taste, like I get that. I feel like it looks nicer in real life than it does on camera. I don't know, I was quite into that and I've picked the elephant back up and I'm like, ugh, do I just want... Like, it's a bit less messy and I feel like maybe because the dress is quite busy print-wise, I'm maybe better with... with a plainer bag. I feel like as well I quite like that I'll be hands-free with the elephant. I'm thinking elephant actually now that I'm looking at it again. I think it's just a bit neater and... Yeah, it's just maybe a bit better with the busyness of the dress. Let's look at the patchwork dress on. So I know I just said we were going to look at the patchwork dress but I just went down to ask my gran for her opinion and I went in like holding the two bags and was like, well wearing the two bags and was like which bag and she instantly was like that one about the string bag. She said it goes so much better so. But yeah I walked in and was like which bag and she was like that one. And my gran usually is just a bit kind of like oh, who really cares like it's fine. But she, she had a very strong opinion that this was better. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like this camera really wants to focus on the bed behind me. But anyway, this is the patchwork dress on. So that is the brown sandal, which I think maybe goes slightly better with this. And the S I, th I feel like I could wear either or. I feel like the brown maybe picks up the brown in the, in the patches. I feel like actually this goes with the brown sandals anyway because you've got the brown leather handle. So what do we think? 
I'm leaning towards brown sandals with this one and I, I do like this bag. I actually thought maybe the frog would, would go with this one. Like, I'm going to try the frog because I do love the frog and I don't really feel it got much chance last year before it was. It's not really wicker bag weather. Isn't she the cutest? Like look at that little face. Because I feel like she doesn't necessarily go but in that way that a novelty bag doesn't necessarily maybe need to go. I feel like she doesn't clash quite as much. But I feel like she tones with this. She just didn't quite tone with the, the Zimmerman. Well, I don't know. I get, like, do you know that way I kind of just want to have an excuse to use my frog bag? Because I love her and she's lovely. Although she doesn't fit my phone, so she's a completely impractical choice of bag. But she's very, very cute. To be fair, this could end up being the sort of day where I would need the frog bag and then I'd need a tote bag anyway. This could be a two bag a day. Speaking of novelty bags, my friend Lauren picked this up for me when she went to the Cheshire Oaks outlet. They had a Radley shop and she saw this and was just like, you need to have that. Obviously it's a Radley bag, it was at the outlet so you're probably, you would need to go to an outlet to get it. But it's like a... It's like a London telephone box, I think it's the cutest thing. Um, so I've taken out this dress, but I don't think this is this is quite right. I feel like the red on this is just a little bit too deep for this dress. I do want to use this bag. I am going to London again in like December. Lauren and I have booked our Twixmas trip, so like fingers crossed that goes ahead again this year. So I, I will get to use it then. And it's maybe more of a sort of wintry colour because it's quite a deep red. But I would like to use it in this trip. So let me go into the wardrobe. Let's let's see what we can make happen here. So I think it goes quite well with this dress. Um, so this dress is really old. It's from French Connection. Obviously I need a top underneath this. Um, but I feel like it goes, goes quite nicely. And I think this dress goes... I could kind of wear either but... This dress also goes with my trainers just fine. I've worn it like that plenty of times. So I could maybe wear this travelling down on the Sunday with my trainers and this bag. I do just think it's so, so cute. So I would like to take it. So yeah, this is a potential travelling outfit. So I feel like where we are just now is that I've got potential travelling outfit here. This I'm going to wear on my actual birthday and I'm going to the theatre and I'm going for afternoon tea. And then the Zimmerman dress I think I'm going to wear on the Wednesday which means I'll be travelling home in it. So the day that I've not got, I'm not 100% convinced in this yet. This is just potential but I'm definitely set with those two. But the day that I've not got anything yet for is we're going to do a day trip. But we haven't quite decided where which is part of the problem then for picking an outfit so we are kind of we originally we were looking at doing like an organized day trip like a coach trip but I feel like they try and give you so much value for money that they squeeze in like three or four things into one day and I'd rather do one thing properly and um, so I think we're either going to go to Canterbury or Bath and we haven't quite made up our minds yet which it's going to be. So for day trip day, this dress is really old. It's actually from Marks and Spencers but I've had it for for a number of years. Um, I think it's, it's very very pretty and I was thinking I could potentially have this bag again with maybe these sandals. Or the espadrilles are a bit more ladylike, but the sandals maybe tie in the handles of the bag better. Um, but instead of the orangey scarf, the bluey scarf. So let me just make up the bag with that scarf in it till we see. I've kind of gone with a blue. The other two options I've pulled out are blue as well. So that's, that's kind of my thought process. Is I'd like to... I bought three scarves and this bag in December last year and I've not yet used them. So I'd, I'd like to get my use. Yeah, so I think that is super, super cute. Um, and I feel like as well because it's got the sort of goldy, you know, the stars and whatever on it, it kind of ties in with the brown and the brown again. Do ignore my feet. I did one of the um, foot peels the other night. I say the other night, um, Friday I think I did it. So my feet are peeling at the moment and once they're finished with that, I, I will do my toenails and stuff. So yeah, sorry that you're seeing my ugly feet at the moment. Well, not that my feet ever look great, but they'll... I'll at least paint my toenails before I go. 
I'll make some kind of an effort. So uh, yeah, sorry for exposing you to my not even polished feet. Yeah, I think the espadrilles kind of, in a way, kind of match the dress a bit better. Sorry, this camera, I think, is keeps trying to tell me it's had its life and I'm determined that it has absolutely not had its life because I have definitely not had the money out of it yet but it's um it doesn't like focusing very much anymore but yeah I feel like the espadrilles kind of match the like overall dress better but I feel like for the vibes of taking it on a day trip the sandals and the bag kind of make the dress a little more casual um so yeah I like that I'm going to try on the other two dresses but I feel like this is I feel like this is potentially the winner. So this is a really old dress from Joni. Again, I feel like the espadrilles kind of, in a sense, match it better, but I feel like the, the sandals kind of make it a bit more casual. Um, and again, I think this bag with this scarf goes really, really well. I feel like the only outfit, I feel like I'm more keen on these last two dresses than I am on this one just I'm a little bit bigger than I was this time last year and I can kind of feel it in my clothes I'm trying not to like get bothered about it but I can I don't know like I could wear that but I can tell that it's tighter than it used to be I just I just really want to use this bag because it's so appropriate but I think maybe the deep red of it, it would go so well with like my tartan skirts and stuff for Christmas time so like I know I'll definitely take it when Lauren and I go at Christmas but it would just be it would just be super cute to have it on this trip. I'm so pleased with this bag. I know it's not going to be for everyone, but I really think it's just friggin' adorable. So yeah, I'm wondering, do I just take the two blue dresses and leave the red one? What do we think? So this is my other day trip option. Um, Again, I think the espadrilles kind of go a bit more nicely with it. I feel like if we went to Canterbury, um, this would be super, super cute for that. Um, I do, again, I need to put a top underneath it. And I think it would look... I actually, do you know, I actually think if I got, like, either, again, like a nude bag, which I don't really have that would match, like, the espadrilles and also then, like, the sort of pink on the flowers in this or even like the purple or something I think like I think like a bag that kind of pops one of the the colours rather than green would be maybe nicer but I don't think I really have anything suitable but yeah so this cord is actually basically my birthday present so it's from a brand called Miss Candy Floss I think they're Swedish maybe but they sort of specialise in like vintage style and vintage inspired clothing and it's a very, it's like a small brand and they make everything in very small batches so uh, they previewed this on their Instagram like quite a few months ago now and I was like please buy me that for my birthday I know it's like months in advance but I know this will be sold out by my birthday which it is um, but this was actually, I've liked her stuff for ages this was actually my first purchase and I ordered a medium and I like I measured it and stuff, but it's it's quite a smug, it's quite a snug medium, and I'm a bit like if I'm going to be sitting on a train for a few hours, etc. Like it's comfy enough, but I don't know if it's I don't know if it's that comfy for a full day out. But I do think it's absolutely lovely. Again, I know this is not going to be to everyone's taste. I feel like I'm like either like a really bohemian thing, like a string bag, or this is like you know very sort of prim and vintage and probably not up everybody's street but I do really like it so I don't really care. It's got the orange in it and I did bring down, it was up the loft because you know how half my things are in the loft still at the moment. Is it under there? No. I did bring down a pair of shoes. Wait till I find them. They're somewhere around here. Okay so no, it was these orangey shoes I was looking for and I thought because there was the orange in it but I don't um I don't like them with it. I don't think they're, I think they're too sort of chunky for the sort of very feminine floral nature of this kind of outfit. So ignore that. I know it's not yellow, but some like, you know, in the sound of music, when Maria and the captain come back from their honeymoon and she's wearing like a sort of yellow jacket and then her and Liesl do the, the reprise of 16 going on 17. 
and um, I feel like this jacket just reminds me a lot of that jacket like I think just in cut and shape rather than because hers is, is yellow but um yeah it gives me gives me sound of music vibes and I'm quite here for that so I just put the espadrilles on and the little frog bag and I feel like that's actually quite cute I feel like that's really sweet yeah I feel like if we go to Canterbury actually this is what I want to wear probably won't be comfortable and I'll be like you know moaning by the time we come back but yeah I think this is really sweet actually as I say totally realise it's not going to be to everybody's taste but I very much enjoy it just tied my hair up because it was annoying me and put on just this little sort of nude pink uh, vest top underneath just to see that kind of ties it in with the espadrilles and yeah I think this is a really really cute outfit so I think if we go to Canterbury I'm going to go for this and I think if I go to Bath, what do we think? Swans or this one? One of these two I think for Bath. Not sure which. But yeah, these two are potential outfits. This is a potential outfit. Patchwork dress and the Zimmerman dress are definites. Okay, so I've tidied away what I could tidy away on just a side note. Um, so this is a bureau that I've been talking about if you're a regular viewer of mine. And I did say I was going to like show you me organising stuff into it. So don't worry, there is still going to do that there is nothing in it yet um but i do absolutely love it i've got stuff in the top but that's not necessarily going to stay there um it's just kind of there but that is going to get organized with hopefully some of this riotous mess which would then mean i could get handbags in here you know the drill we've talked about this before but yeah don't worry i've not done it without you guys this is empty it's just been brought up um, and I've just got some stuff on top but anyway so I've tidied away what I can then I've got so I've got my bags and um, this has got my little string bag in it and kind of one of those ones I know it's going to catch sooner or later because it's a string bag but I don't want it to happen before I've used it so I will pack it in this the scarfs are in there shoes are there and then the clothes are here this is my color palette essentially um, so I do have one excess outfit here, I'm not sure which it is yet though. But originally these were the sort of style of nails that I was looking at. It was this sort of like nude but with green sort of botanical um, nails. Like my main sort of thing I would have quite liked would have been essentially sort of base colour like this maybe. With these kind of tones and sort of like ferns and sort of botanical things rather than floral things. Um, but I feel like overall it's a slightly brighter or more mixed colour palette. So, so I've gone from pinning all the sort of green botanical nails to looking at more sort of neutral ones. I really like these. Like as if it's like a clear base and then just a couple of like really sort of neutral light pink flowers. I think they're lovely. Um, I mean I've pinned all of these so I think they're all lovely. Let's be real. I really like them. Again very nude base and then like sort of whites and golds i'm thinking like nudes are probably the way forward in terms of kind of matching in with everything and i'm wondering like should i just go more explicitly floral less botanical because that's properly floral if i wear that this has obviously got proper florals then this is like floral too even though i was going to go kind of botanically with that and then florals are not going to clash with swans or with this either so yeah I'm kind of thinking let's maybe go proper kind of flowery I think these ones are lovely like sort of super delicate really really understated I think that's really really pretty but yeah that's that's what I'm thinking so we'll go to get my nails done tomorrow and see where we end up but for now I've got this net porter box that the Zimmerman dress came in when I ordered it and I'm going to try and fit all of this stuff straight into here so that I then kind of don't wear it that's what I generally start doing ahead of going on holidays put the stuff to one side um, and I do put the sort of complete outfits in so like the vest top the slip dress for under that and um, I'm going to try and find a uh, chub rub shorts for four days to put in there so that I don't then wear them and then they're in the wash like when I suddenly need them for going away the next day or whatever anything I think I'm going to want to take ahead of the holiday I'll generally start putting aside so I've got this box ready and waiting and I'm going to put stuff into it okay they didn't fit in the box so I've put the clothes in there Um, I'll get the bags in there as well I'm not going to put the shoes are new so they've not been worn outside yet but I'm not going to put them in with the clothes anyway like 
without being in bags. Um, so yeah, I'll add them into the suitcase. There we are, so stuff's all in the case, shoes are there. Get three pairs of shorts that I've pulled out that I'm going to pack in and that way I'll need one more but that's fine. You know it's been a long session when it's like your lipstick's not even on anymore, hair is up like full on, it is what it is. Um, yeah I hope that's been an enjoyable first segment of my prep and pack with me and tomorrow we will go get my Lion King nails taken off which I'm quite sad about because I did love my Lion King nails and uh, get something botanic-y, florally, nude -y. see where it goes. Hey guys, so it is Saturday evening, it is half past six, so I go away tomorrow and a few things have happened in terms of prepping um, that I haven't vlogged. Uh, first of all, I got my nails done, really, really happy with them. So they're like botanical and then just nude on the other fingers, I really wanted it to look like I had nothing basically on some of my fingers and then botanical elements on some. So that's what I went for with my nails. I actually took the camera but I didn't have, I'd left the memory card in the laptop from taking in the previous lot of footage so I couldn't vlog it. Um, but probably just as well because I think this is probably going to be long enough. So that was Wednesday night. Then on Thursday night I washed my hair and I did a hair mask. So I used this one, it's from my 13 by Halloween project pan, it's from Davines and it's the Oi hair butter. So you use that first if you've got fine hair, use it straight on to dry hair. I left it on for about two hours. I think you can just leave it for like 10 minutes but I just went for the whole hog and left it um, for about two hours. And then I washed it out with the Whey Detox shampoo to just try and get like everything out of my hair make it really really clean and then this morning I dyed it so this is the dye I use it's the L'Oreal Paris preference range so I think the new shade is Santa Monica because I feel like they're all sort of place names like the other red one is called Dublin and um, but this used to be in a different range called like bright colors or something so I think the old color was just copper whereas it's now been absorbed into the sort of main range so I think it's now Santa Monica but it's, it's this one either way just to to let you know because I do get quite a lot of questions about my hair. If you watched my last empties video you'll know I said I feel like my hair kind of wasn't in a great place so I've been doing a lot of treatments. I've been using the kind of status repair range generally shampoo and conditioner wise until the other night I just decided to go in with the mask etc um, and I feel like it's, it's a lot better uh, than it was but yeah I might not be home dyeing for very much longer or if I do a home diet again I think I'm maybe going to try and leave it longer between things. My next sort of like event or holiday isn't until October so I might be looking a bit scraggly through uh, August and September. You might see me with like you know roots down to here and um, so we'll see. Just I just kind of thought I should maybe say that because I thought if you've watched that empty video heard me moaning about that and then you see me doing this in like literally a few videos later you might be like what are you moaning about and then doing the same thing but I wanted it done for going on holiday but I think I probably I'm going to take a little bit of time off but it is looking a bit better than it was but I think it's just it's not been cut in a really long time and I don't know if it maybe just actually needs a good chop um, as part of that process but I'm just going to gush about my friend here for a minute so bear with me. So I don't know if I actually said it but it is my birthday when I'm in London um, but I saw Lauren today and she was like, oh, I need to see you before you go to give you your birthday present. Um, which obviously I wasn't expecting her to get me anything. Um, it's not a big birthday or anything like that. If you remember in that empties video, I was talking about Olaplex and strengthening and how I'd been looking at the Beautify one. So the reason I've been looking at that is because Lauren has a Beautify membership due to expire quite soon. And I don't think she's going to renew it because she's kind of set. She's got quite a lot of stuff. So she was like, if you want anything before... It expires let me know we'll do an order in like August kind of time. So that was why I'd been looking at it but she went and bought me the the repair treatment for my birthday which was so so lovely over and she also bought me this which I'm so excited about it's the Uber Youth Neck and Chest Super Lift Serum Spray Um, so this is like a bit grim but if you guys remember when Helen McCrory died like I was such a fan of Helen McCrory I just I think she, she was such a great great actress and obviously I must have been talking about it and you know how your phone then like shows you things that you've been talking about so I went on Pinterest and it was showing me um like old interviews that she'd done 
and I was just reading them all because I was now like, oh, Helen McCrory's just dead kind of mood. I know, I know, so grim. But one of the questions in one of these old interviews of her was, what would you tell your younger self? And she was like, use an egg cream. Do you know when like you randomly read something and it just sticks with you? I've always been sort of like, oh, I should really be taking my skincare down my neck. And sometimes I do it and sometimes I just can't be bothered. But the thing is as well, like I'll sometimes take it down my neck. But I kind of don't do much with this area unless I'm like really like having a full sort of spa moment to myself. And I feel like quite a lot of the time this is exposed. If you're wearing a v-neck or anything, I feel like this skin goes through quite a lot and then I don't really treat it. So I saw this on Beauty Pie, which is like a spray that you just spray and it's, it's for the neck and chest. Um, and it's like a lifting serum. I don't really care what it does as long as it's kind of treating that area so that I don't end up like I've done my skincare down to like here and then here down the way if I'm wearing like you know like a v-neck shirt or anything it's very obvious that I've not taken it down there so so I was going on about trying this and Lauren bought me it which was just so lovely of her. Those two have entered my life and she also, so the reason she wanted to see me before I went on holiday is because she got me something from Victoria Beckham Beauty. How lovely is this pouch? And it's something I've been talking about for a really long time when she was a bit worried I might have bought it in London. And it's an eyeliner, which is obviously in the green shade. That's the one I've been talking about. So it's the shade Olive and it is the most beautiful thing on earth. So this is what the packaging looks like. And it's, it's got like a smudger on one end and then this is the the colour. So look at that. Isn't it just the most beautiful shade? I'm so, so pleased with it. But yeah, I probably wouldn't have bought it for myself um, even in London. I am, I'm not officially saying that I'm not going to buy myself anything in London because I am allowed to buy things in holiday under the rules of I know by, but... I think I'm going to try and see, I'm definitely going to be as minimal as possible with my purchases and I think the only things I'm really going to buy are if there's something that I'm like I can literally never order this online after my no buy is finished or get it in a shop at home or anything like that like it would need to be something I could really only get in the moment I think. I'm not going to get into it in this video because this isn't really the time or place for it but I feel like basically just the way things worked out I had like I was away just before Easter, then I was away, I was in Dublin, then I was in Edinburgh, so I've had quite a lot of holidays and I feel like I've bought quite a few things and I feel like I'm in the habit of shopping again, which I'm not hugely keen on. So I feel like I'm, I'm maybe going to try and test myself in London to be like, can I go to London and not shop? But I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen because I don't want to say that I'm going to do that and then feel rubbish if I fail at it because as long as I'm not shopping at home, and within my rules but anyway the other thing before we get back to the packing that I just thought I would talk about is so this lipstick is this one from Gucci I actually bought that when I was way just before Easter it was in Newcastle they've got a beautiful big Gucci um, stand in Phoenix in Newcastle and I bought quite a few lipsticks so it's this shade here and um, it's one that does make your shades quite yellow as a shade I'll be honest it's called Lucy Dark Orange I absolutely love it. They actually did it in a matte at one point. I think that was when I was on like my full no buy, not really looking at things. And I wish I'd known about this when it was matte lipstick because I would have definitely asked for it like as a gift at some point and um, for a birthday or something because I love the colour so much. But I just wanted to say, so I put this on um, maybe about half past four. It is 6.41 just now. And it's like a really sort of glossy formula that you think is just going to disappear super, super quickly. But although it's not like freshly on, it's definitely still on the lips. And um, I'm really, really impressed with just the longevity of it. I'll maybe top it up. Um, I've not got any lip liner or anything. We're just doing this quite messily. So that's it freshly on. So it had definitely faded, but I feel like it fades really, really evenly. Um, and the, there was definitely still product on my lips there so I'm really really impressed with like for this being like a shiny um, sort of glossy lip I feel like it, it lasts truly really, really well. I'm really into Gucci Beauty in general I feel like it's it's one of the few beauty brands that I think really sort of gets me excited at the, at the moment. But yeah back to prepping and packing for tomorrow. 
So I've just left everything that I used this morning out because I feel like that's a starting point for packing. So I'm not taking my hair dryer, I'll put that away. I am going to take my curling tong. I'm going to take this, which is heat protectant spray from Dry Bar. It's for dry hair. So I really like that. I feel like most heat protectant sprays are for putting on when you blow dry your hair. So I really like this for like making sure you can actually top it up ahead of styling your hair. Hairbrush, that is a blow dry product, blow dry product, a blow dry product. Do I want hair oil? Do you know, given what I just said about the ends, it maybe doesn't do any harm. So I'll take my hair oil. Um, I'll take my little slip bobble for putting my hair up at night. Do I want the comb and the brush? For all the space that takes, I'll probably just take it. So I'm taking that and then I think I want some kind of texture spray. So let's put these away. Over at my hair products, I'm going to take some Bumble and Bumble texture spray and also some Aveda dry shampoo. I thought this might be of interest if you didn't know you could do this on google maps you can under like my spaces you can create your own maps and um, so this tends to be how i do things for my holidays so as you can see there this is my london 2022 map so i'll create a map for each holiday mark out the places that i want to visit on the holiday and it means in terms of like planning my days i can see like if i want to go to those shops then i've got an eating place in the vicinity that I want to try as well. So I do use Google Maps to plan my holidays, but then I will also make a Google Sheet. It'll have my itinerary on it for each day, you know, basically planning out what I'm doing, but then it'll also create a packing list and generally an outfits list. So I kind of pack off of the outfits list for clothing, packing list for everything else. And the packing list, so you've got the Google Sheets app on your phone, or I have it in my phone, you can have it on your phone, obviously. And it means you can add things as you remember them. Obviously, you can just take a note on your phone as well if that's easier, but I just quite like having it all sort of here because it means as well if there's anything, like if I'm planning something on the itinerary, and it involves needing something, I can add it to the packing list. And in terms of the packing list, so it's quite useful like now. So I've gathered this up based on this is what I used this morning. And then I've added in texture spray and dry shampoo, thinking about what I'd need through the week. But on the packing list, I'd already reminded myself to take a shower cap because I'm not going to wash my hair while I'm away and kerby grits as well so that I can curl and pin my hair at night to save me doing it in the morning. And I wasn't going to remember either of those things just now so I feel like this is quite useful so I'm going to grab those two things and that'll be my hair done. Hair stuff now officially sorted. I want to use that bag for my hair stuff and um, so this is the other thing so you saw me put these outfits into a smaller case earlier in the week but my gran actually wants to use that case so she took the case and I got my proper case down and Basically I've just, I've put my clothes there and then anything that I sort of know I'm going to want on this holiday I have been putting in this general area so that it's all together and then you know I'm not kind of wearing it during the week or anything. It's mainly clothes that that's an issue for but yeah it just keeps everything together. So I've got this which I've started putting a couple of things in. I talked about these, I've got two of these and I talked about them in my Dublin pack with me video. So they're from Cryolan and... On the inside, they're all like lined so that if something spills, they're just wiped clean. So I've got them in two sizes. That one's got my makeup in. This is the bigger one, which I'm going to put my hair stuff in. Um, I've got a wash bag for my skincare, but I'm going to have my contact lenses. So let's, let's see on the other list what's kind of would need to pack in there. So allergy tablets, blister plasters, contact lenses, glasses wipes. Um... Yeah, I think that's that's everything that I'm going to kind of need that would be in there. Allergy tablets. I got a new compute whilst I was in Boots today, so I'm going to get that stuff. I've got, I put face cloths here, but I'll put that with my skincare. Um, so I'm going to put that into that. There we are. Took all the sort of packaging out and um, condensed my compute down into one. 
I took these out because I'm going to put them in my handbag. There's loads of space in there that I can come back to if needed. Makeup wise, I actually just watched back my Dublin prep and pack with me video because I really liked how my makeup was in that holiday. So I've mainly reached for a lot of the same stuff and then I've just swapped in the lipsticks that are in my current project pan and for eyeshadows, I've got my single shadows Z palette that I've made up. So what I'm going to do, I think I've kind of got everything I actually need here is tip it all out and then repack it into this with the brushes that I need for each thing and that way nothing goes in without the applicator that way I've got everything and then I can repack it more neatly after that so primer is Clarins SOS Green Colour Correcting Primer I don't use a brush with that then for foundation I'm going to travel with this from KVD Beauty um, it's the Good Apple Foundation I've got a foundation in my project pan that's what I've been using day to day but this is so good for travelling because it tops up so well on top of itself. Um, so I'm going to stick with that for travelling with. And I've got my Eco Tools sponge. I'd actually washed this on Thursday night and then this morning was the first time I used it. So powder, I've got my Fenty powder foundation. And there is a sponge in that but I feel like it gives quite a heavy application. So I will put in my Spectrum KTG and Hughes brush number two for powder. Concealer, I've got my Bobbi Brown under eye corrector that goes on with the ABH number 14 brush and my MAC uh, concealer from my project pan also goes on with the same brush. Then I've got the Tarte Shape Tape concealer and if I'm using that under my eyes I use it with a little beauty blender so that in as well. Pussing this in, in Benefit Puff Off Under Eye Primer which I'm just basically trying to finish so that actually goes on first but anyway never mind. Um, yeah so I think that is everything for base. Lock base in with the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Spray from my project pan. Obviously I don't need a brush with that either. Um, I'm taking this the Essie Lauder Spotlight primer it's super old I don't really feel comfortable putting it in my face but I want to finish it so I'm actually taking that to run up and down my legs and um, the days that well I'm wearing a dress every day but you know basically just trying to use it up but again no brush needed so just chucking that in as is. For lashes Shurimura eyelash curler and then I've got the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel mascara number 10 and then that's a bit smudgy so I've got my DHC oh, throwing it in uh, DHC tubing mascara to lock it in with. Brows, I've got Benefit Browsings and I've got the Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes like spooly double ended brush, it's number 23 and I'm taking my Benefit Brow Gel as well, no brush required. For cheeks, obviously I'm taking my Hourglass palette from my Project Pan and I will apply that with this brush from MAC, I think it's number 48, it's so old that all the writing has rubbed off but it's a MAC brush. For highlight I'm taking my Shantikai one from my project pan obviously and I'll take the Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum number 8 brush to apply my highlight with. That takes me on to eyeshadow so as I said I've got my single shadows palette. I feel like I just want to spend a bit of time with this palette, I feel like there's maybe a few shades that could go so I'm just going to stick that in. Then in terms of eye brushes I'm taking two sort of flatter brushes so a MAC, um, is this a 239? 2392 again so old that the writing has rubbed off of it um, and Katie Jean Hughes number seven brush not perfect truly really, but it's the the closest I've got then I've got four uh, fluffy brushes so a Boots number seven one two MAC 217s and a Zoeva 227 and then that just leaves my lip products so I've got my Colourpop lippy sticks in who run this so that's my project pan and then I've got my Colourpop lip pencil in Love Bug to be the matching liner for that. Then I'm also taking my Guerlain shade number three again it's in my project pan but I think I will switch up the case so I've had it in the emerald case for a while and I do collect the Guerlain case so I've got a few so I think I'll go pick a new case to take to London. So this was the emerald which is very very pretty but I'm going to swap it on this trip for this one which is called Minimal Chic. This was actually the first one that I ever got it's very very pretty 
um, it's got my name engraved on the inside of it. Actually this lipstick was my first ever one and this case was my first ever one. I got them in Florida in 2019 and that was the start of the obsession. So yeah, taking that to London and I will pop this one away in its box because I do keep them in their boxes in between uses. So that is everything that I'm going to need makeup wise. I've also got this mirror um, it's from Primark and it stands like so if you've got, you know, if the mirror in the hotel isn't in a great place in front of the window in terms of lighting to do your makeup, very, very useful. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll take these things out and repack it a bit more neatly. That is my makeup packed away. What I've done is I've just taken everything, oh, not quite everything, I've missed this, uh, most things out of this case that are not clothing. So I'm just kind of gathering stuff together that will need to go in the case to figure out the best place to pack it or to make a little pile, like this pile that's starting here that will be hand luggage, which is where this stuff is all going so these are the two books that i'm taking with me um so codename verity i'm about halfway through so i'll definitely read that on the plane i'll probably finish it on the plane on the way there just to come back to this book i actually didn't finish it on the plane and it is just as well that i didn't because i sobbed at the end of this book well from about three quarters of the way to the end of this book so I really do recommend it, it's amazing, it's kind of one of those books I'm in a bit of an emotional come down afterwards, like and I'm not quite sure that I'm ready to move into anything else because it was so affecting. So I would really really recommend the book, but it is not one for reading in a public place, so do not take this book on a plane, that's all I'm going to say. Then I'm going to a Peter Pan afternoon tea, so I feel like this was an appropriate one to take off of my bookshelf to read. Then I actually got a Liberty Loyalty Voucher, so I've got that, got my passport, um, my Oyster card, and then this is actually the purse that I'm taking with me. Um, and Lauren actually got me this a few years ago, it's obviously London themed, so I am appropriately taking that to London with me. But that will all be hand luggage, so I'll put that up here. I'm going to take that instead of that, but I need to take the stuff out of that because I had it out today and put it into there. Um, I did buy Idol by Louise O'Neill today, but it's hardback, so I'm not taking that travelling with me. Then this stuff is sort of techy. I might want that in my hand. No, do you know what? I can definitely do it without that in my hand luggage. What a piece of nonsense. It's my Olympus camera, so I'm going to put that in my hand luggage. But yeah, camera chargers. Oh, headphones. I've just kind of picked up a whole load of wires here. Headphones I will want in my hand luggage obviously, so that's my little hand luggage pile starting here. A portable charger, then that is the charger for my Olympus camera. This is the charger for the camera that I am filming on just now, so they could definitely just go in the case. So I'll put them over in this pile here. This stuff here, so I've got bath things, so I knew I wanted to take bath stuff. Then I bought this today, a pair of moisturising foot socks. So you know how I said earlier I did one of the foot peels last week? Still peeling, so I'm probably just going to wear trainers tomorrow and keep them covered. But I'm hoping tomorrow might be the last of it and then I thought I'll take that with me and do that tomorrow night and that way the new skin that's come out underneath gets a good moisturisation. Then I bought this today. Um, in Boots is a razor but it's Venus having a collaboration with the Rifle Paper Co and then I bought some spare heads but I'm not going to take the heads actually so I can put them away and I will take that out of the... Will I take it out of the packaging? Is it actually maybe better to just travel with it in the box? Or should I just take my travel one and just... I need a new head so that's why I ended up just buying the whole thing. Yeah, I'll maybe just take the travel one way and I'm going to grab it. I thought I'd just take this out to show you. It's really, really pretty, but it's like really weighty. It's not just a plasticky handle. It's like a... feels like metal. I don't think it says anything. Um, 
but yeah it's definitely like a much better quality one than a usual Venus razor it's like it feels like it's it's of substance um, but yeah, I'm going to grab my little travel razor actually. There we are, travel razor, new head. I think what I'll do is just stick them in this one and beside here. Let's then tick off. I've got bath products. I've got a razor. Just made a new category there called morning so that I make sure that I've got my toothbrush and my deodorant after using them tomorrow morning before we go to the airport. Um, so... Basically what I'm doing is I am italicising something once it is packed and into this pile. Um, I've not italicised, I've got like my portable charger, um, in fact I did actually pack that didn't I? And packed, well packed, but put in the pile to pack um, the camera chargers. But the things that are not italicised if they're in my hand luggage, I'm not going to italicise them till I have packed my hand luggage bag. So basically, this doesn't get italicised until something is definitely in a bag. And then this stuff won't leave the bed without going into the suitcase, so I feel quite confident about that. Okay, I think I'm going to move on to my clothing now, because that's obviously the biggest kind of bit to pack. But the way I've done my outfits, I lie them out, including underwear and any accessories. Um, so this is what I'm actually going to wear. Travelling tomorrow is my Joni dress. I'm going to wear that with my trainers but they're downstairs by the door anyway so that's fine. Um, then I've got this cardigan. Then on my actual birthday which is the Monday I'm going to wear the dress from Alamis. Um, I may not be pronouncing that correctly. My little frog bag. Um, and I've got my cycle shorts there from Girlfriend Collective. And then down here I've got my shoes for going with that. Here I've got my dress for Thursday. I have, we're, I've had a change of plan. So when I spoke to you earlier in the week, we were talking about doing a day trip. We have decided to scrap that because basically I was quite keen on going to Canterbury, but the cathedral's actually shut. So I feel like it would be better going back another time when the cathedral's open. Um, and I feel like my little suit was perfect for Canterbury, but... I think what we're going to do instead rather than doing the day trip is do the Churchill War Rooms in London and try and get tickets to a show for that night. So I feel like the suit was really quite tight on me and I don't think I'd be comfortable sitting through like a theatre show in it. So I've decided to go for the dress. So I've got the dress, then I've got the bag and the two scarves for the two different days with the bag are there as well. Shoes for the dress, then that is the dress for Wednesday and a, the slip for underneath it and then I have got my pyjamas. So basically that leaves my case empty. I've got my steamer which I am taking with me but I want to steam that dress so there's a little bit of water left in it so I'm just not putting it up yet um, but once I've used that to steam that dress the steamer will go into. Then I've got, this basically leaves my case empty other than stuff that I am um, like storing in there in between times so I've got my packing cubes for packing. Got two travel pills here but I think we'll just leave them behind. I think we can manage a, a trip to London without needing a travel pillow. But yeah I'm going to start packing into my packing cubes. Okay so I've got one here for shoes. I'll actually get both pairs of shoes so these shoes are as you can see brand new. I've never even tried them on but I've never had them on properly but stick them in here. Then this packing cube, I think I'm going to put my hand luggage and I'm going to put my two new fairly expensive dresses into my hand luggage. Just interrupting you to say I made it home but my luggage did not so that's exactly why I put expensive stuff in the hand luggage because on the way back I had my patchwork dress and my Kate Spade bag in my hand luggage. I was wearing my Zimmerman dress and I am quite worried at this point about my luggage because it's been 10 days now and I did get some grounds and boots while I was away. You'll have seen that if you follow me on Instagram which they are in my case because they were too heavy and too big for my hand luggage and my sizzly black rose mask is also in there so there are things that I'm concerned about in my whole luggage but at least I didn't lose two basically brand new expensive dresses and my handbag that is not new and therefore could not be replaced. So yeah, that's exactly why you put your expensive stuff in the hand luggage. 
yeah, they're definitely a fit, no problem at all. I think I might also, I might put this in my hand luggage too, my little string bag, so then I don't actually need to carry it in that bag, so this can go, put this over in the floor over here. Then I've got, quite like the two scarves being in that box actually, but I might put that box in my handbag. I tend to put my more valuable things into my hand luggage, especially if they're new. Right, so, so the scarves, the bag and the two more expensive dresses are going in my hand luggage. I feel like my actual case is going to be half empty. One dress that I'm actually packing, my underwear and my pyjamas. Okay, so I've then got some spare packing cubes, but I might want to put like dirty washing in them or whatever whilst I'm away, so just keep these to hand just now. Up at the top here, so that's stuff that's going in the case. This is what I'm wearing, but it needs steam, so this is I'll put the cake spade bag here as if I'm going to pack it. In fact, I'll put my outfit for tomorrow up there. I've got my sunglasses. I was going to put them in my hand luggage bag, but I'll maybe just stick these over here just now, actually. So it then becomes my rule that nothing can leave the bed without being packed into either my hand luggage or my suitcase. So I'm going to put this stuff in my suitcase. I've just taken one of the small packing cubes and put my chargers and my sunglasses into it. For my hand luggage bag I'm taking my Kankin so I'm going to pack that stuff into this bag. Um, I put my second book in there because I know I'm going to finish Codename Verity first. So let me pack this up. In the front pouch I've got my passport, my little purse, just about, my Liberty voucher and my Oyster card. I think I'll also put my headphones in the front pocket because that kind of saves them from getting lost. And then I'll put, in fact I'll just keep them up at the top. So that's my front pouch. Then I'll put my book in there. Got my wipes and my tissues. And then I've got my photo taking camera and then I'll also be putting this camera that I'm filming on just now into my hand luggage. So that is my hand luggage bag packed. It definitely could fit a bit more in if I wanted anything more in. And I think what I'll do now is steam my dress for travelling in so that I can pack my steamer and my skincare away. So it's 10 to 9, I just had to actually take a break and somewhat ironically unpack a little so that I could charge this camera because it was running out of battery. Um, but I just had a pancake for dinner because I'm, you know, already in holiday mode. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to bring attention to this lipstick again. I think it's a really, like, it does wear off. Um, but I think it just wears off in a really sort of nice way. I don't think it's, you know, you're not left with that really defined like outer rim. Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. So that's it. You saw me applying it. That was spot just after half six. Um, so it's nearly nine o'clock and I've just eaten something and this is kind of how it's looking. So yeah, I'm really, really into that. Anyway, I seamed my dress so you can see that hanging up there. And then I've got my hand luggage bag there. Um, then that is my cardigan, my underwear for tomorrow, and I have also laid out a packet of these eye patches. I'll just stick them on in the morning after I've done my skincare. So that's my little charger packing cube because I had to unpack this charger and I'm going to give it another charge after I've finished filming this bit. My steamer is still to go in. It's still quite hot from doing the dress, so it's just sitting there. Uh, my little frog bags there. I'm kind of doing that thing now where the frog bag is only going with the patchwork dress um, and I'm a bit like oh am I taking this for one outfit? I'm not sure. But I do really like it and I don't feel she got her use last summer. We'll see. Um, and then I've got my spare packing cubes. But anyway the little break gave me time to eat something um, but also to get together my skincare. So this is actually what I used this morning so I just left that out after I had finished using it. 
I am not going to take this, what I used this morning, it's my moisturiser from Pixi, it's the vitamin C lotion, but I've been using this as my nighttime moisturiser, the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream. It's maybe a little bit heavy for day, but I feel like for holiday it's fine, it'll do both, so I'm going to take that instead. Um, everything else I'm taking, I actually have a new deodorant, so I'm just going to stick it in my wash bag rather than need to use it in the morning then remember to pack it. I've got four um, face cloths here from Les Errol. So basically that is my daytime skincare, so daytime vitamin C, hydration, eye cream, lip balm, that will be my day and night cream, SPF, then an SPF top up, deodorant, then nighttime vitamin C, then I've also got the um, fresh oil and serum that's in my project pan, uh, my Clarins eye cream, I'm taking this from my project pan as well, the Kiehl's cilantro and orange uh, mask. I feel like when I try to do the description box for this, I think this might have been discontinued because um, it's quite hard to find to link. Then again from my project pan, my after sun body lotion, my Kiehl's hand cream and then I'm taking a couple of skincare treats since it is my birthday trip, my Sizzly Black Rose Mask. Then I'm taking this for the night that we arrive, this has been discontinued and it's such a good face mask so I've got one more after this, I've been like saving them for special occasions so I'll use that um, on Sunday night, I'll use that uh, whilst I'm having a bath and whatever then I'll use that on Sunday night as well as my final step then Monday morning I'm going to use my Patchology Illuminating Mask, I've talked about this mask before, I love it so so much um, so that's going to be my birthday treat and then I'm also taking two lots of under eye patches to do me on Tuesday and Wednesday morning so that I hopefully don't look too scarily tired on the vlog. So the only thing that's missing here that's getting added in is my Drunk Elephant Cleansing Balm but I need to use that tonight to remove this face. So what I'll do is pack away everything that I'm not going to need tonight. I meant to say, so I got this for Christmas this year. In fact, I'll turn this around so you can see it better. So it's from Elizabeth Scarlet, it's from their British Blooms range, so I got this and the pouch. Um, but this is one of their wash bags and it's all, um, you know, lined in like a waterproof fabric. So although I feel like a velvet wash bag doesn't seem like, like a very practical choice, it's like white clean etc on the inside. Super, super pretty, obviously. So I'll stick these in at the bottom, I am going to use you tonight as well, you can go in, you can go in, you can go in, you can stay out, in fact, no I've got another, I've got another SPF, I'll use the other one in the morning, I'll just pack this one just now, um, I was thinking like I've got skincare minis that I can kind of do a morning skincare routine with but I do have another SPF so it'll be fine. Then I'll pack this away, deodorant, masks, then from here you can get packed, oh. and you can get packed, and you two can get packed, I'll maybe skip this tonight because I used it last night, so pack that just now as well. Right, so that's most of my skincare packed other than these three things that I will use tonight and my cleanser which is in the bathroom. So I've had a shower, taken my makeup off. Which means I can pack away this and also my Drunk Elephant Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. So I've still got my Little Kate Spade bag to put in and my steamer but I pulled this out, it's from Lisa Eldridge and it's just a smaller makeup bag. I was just thinking because I'm taking that string bag with the silk scarves to try and like preserve them a little bit what I'll try and do is actually pack my stuff into this so that like if my lid comes off my lipstick or anything it doesn't go over the scarf. Shove that in my suitcase as well. There we go, so case is packed, top half is completely empty. The only thing that still needs to go in the case is this little pouch or this little packing cube rather that's going to have my techie chargers in it but I'm going to charge the camera that I'm filming on just now just a little bit longer after I finish filming this and then chuck it in. So yeah that leaves pretty much everything is ticked off the list, the only things that I need to remember in the morning so I've actually packed my, my deodorant into my skincare so we'll move that over in there. Um, 
so I've not obviously packed this camera or the charger yet so I'm going to do that. Then in the morning I need to remember my toothbrush and then my phone and phone charger and that is me done. So I think we'll leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week for my London vlog. Bye.